Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more good old Breath of the... Or, God damn it, I did it again. Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, we were trying to make our way into the fucking cloud up top. Um, I still don't actually know how to, but because we've also now got this shrine here, I think what I'm gonna try to do is I think I want to finally go land on this little flower thing. Ooh. Which means we're going this way. On up as high as possible. And let's go. It's not above us, it is down lower. Huh. Alright, here we go. And let's just let us land softly here. Alright, so what is this place? Examine. Perfect. It's actually with ancient Hyrulean. Interesting. That's, that's actually kind of interesting because this is up in the sky, which means it's done by the, uh, by the Zonai. Not Hyrulean. So I wonder if maybe this flower will, this, yeah, flower. I wonder if maybe it'll be important a little bit later on in the story. Because, I mean, outside of that, that doesn't really make sense to have. Alright, and... I'm guessing that that structure is even higher up. Oh yeah, look at that. That's all the way up there. Which means... That should be, like, here-ish. Maybe. Oh, wait, no, I am looking at that wrong. Okay, so that is too high up. How do you get up into it, then? Because that's what our current mission is. Right? So, Tulin's recent ordeal taught him a valuable lesson about working together. Uh, go to Tulin. Go with Tulin to the Sky Islands above Hebra Peak. Oh! So Hebra Peak is underneath the tornado. <laughs> that makes more sense. Now that I actually read it, I think I understand what we're supposed to do. And we might as well just have him boost us this way. Oh. That dragon is... Is that too heavy? Oh. No, that's a three-headed dragon. Um. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. Yeah, I am not gonna try to deal with that dragon because I, I uh, definitely don't think I stand a chance against it right now. Even if I was uh, full health currently, because that'd be six hearts. And that is not enough. I feel like to face off against that dragon, I'll need like all of them. But I, I do not have the skill level to be able to take on something of that size yet. At least that's my own assumption. I could be wrong. I might be able to. But uh, I am not going to test that theory yet. And I forgot how how much the pain climbing sometimes is. But there's nothing I can really do about it other than just do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
we are almost there. Almost to the peak, right? Right, totally almost. Yeah, totally almost there. Definitely not, uh, still a fairly large chunk away. But since we are almost to the top of this mountain, we can just kind of glide and yeet ourselves in the direction of the, uh, the Heaper Peak. Oh, and actually look at that. It does actually have a thing that goes up with it. That's good. So we'll, we'll be able to make our way up there. We just have to first go to the... Oh, wait. Nope, never mind. That doesn't go near as high up as I thought. But I do assume that that is where we're going. We're also just going to ignore that red bokoblin there. Right? Yeah, red and a blue bokoblin. That's not, not worth my troubles. So that looks like that is where we're going. Leave it to me. Boost ourselves a good portion of the way there again. And more mountain climbing. It seems like we're going to be doing that a good chunk right now, at least. Because, oh boy, this is fairly high up. I mean, the nice part is, is we've got the, the headdress and the leggings that uh, do cold resistance, so we don't even have to worry about the cold. Ooh, look, there's a little lodge for us. Perfect. Perfect. Can we get a quick rest in? Ah! The blizzard will not stop, no. Good, we can just go ahead and sleep until morning. That'll let us get uh, our health regenerated. It'll all, it just kind of does a couple of simple things. Guarantees that it should also be day for while we're traveling. I mean, I, I don't think it wasn't going to be, but this just guarantees that it stays day. Oh. All right, there we go. And uh, let's just huh? talk to these guys. Shield surfing. No. Oh. Also no. Ah. I I don't even know what you guys no. are students for. Uh. Uh, I don't know what. Oh oh, for shield surfing. Also, I do apologize if you hear Ferdinand in the background. He uh he likes to be noisy, but I won't argue it. Ah, I kind of find it enjoyable. Alright. Ooh, another pine cone that's still, like, useless to me. You gotta love the fact that I Skyrim climb everything. Just mash the jump button as you try to climb up that mountain. Sometimes speeds... Well, actually, I didn't even think about doing it earlier. Thinking about it. more of those uh, weird flying things. Oops. Well. Just made it perfect. Oh, they're gonna be dropping. Those are totally gonna be trying to drop that on us. Alright. Can I just walk you? No. I thought maybe I could just talk to him because we're at the point that it shows. But it looks like it does want us to go up the rest of the mountain here. I think. I could be completely wrong. about them for a while. Alright, and 
Let's just climb up this. Perfect. <sighs> Only it were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yep. Okay. Well, I mean, his wind gust technique is basically just oh. sideways version of Rivali's Gale. So instead of going up, it goes to the side. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah! Perfect. And in fact... Let's just, uh, this real quick. Still climbing up. Perfect. Um, let's try going up again. Just go up a bit higher this time. Oh, actually, that. Nope, it does not. So we gotta be smart. This time we don't want to try to jump up to it. We instead just want to. Slow climb our way up. Because otherwise we don't actually have enough stamina to deal with it. Or to do it. From here we probably can jump. But just to be on the safe side, wait a little longer. There we go. Perfect. Interesting. I wonder if this is just a fast way of jumping down. No, because isn't this... No, this is higher than where we initially were. But how do we get up? Oh, 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 okay. So I think you actually want to literally land and grab that. So I think uh, we actually got to try again. That's how this is meant to be. Let's give it a try. So if we instead go ahead and land here, and we go here... Are we actually high enough that we can land Oh, so close. So close. Okay. Um, how the heck do you get up then? How do you actually get high enough up? That's the... Portable pot. 
But you know what? I've got a stupid idea. Therefore, come on, buddy. This is gonna go great. And by that, I mean, it's either going to work first try or we're gonna have to travel a fair bit up again. So we want not actually climb on top of it so what if we actually used our brain and instead used a fan Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so that worked to go up. However, we are not high enough up. Which is problematic, because that means I'm about to fall. Right? There isn't anything I can land on. Nothing I, nothing I see that I can land on, so let's just jump in. Okay. Uh, actually. There we go, that's fine. So then did the fan land back on top of this, or did it... God, it fell somewhere else. Okay. So the rocket almost worked. If I had two rockets, I'd be capable of doing it. In that case... We're, we're gonna try the other idea. No, 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 no! So, better idea. Is this. So if we go ahead. That just topics it. Okay. 
So what if we instead take... Prior to us actually doing that, let's take another fan. Alright, this is either going to work or it won't. So I think the biggest problem we have currently... ...is that... ...it is unbalanced. Therefore... ...what if we take... We go like this. And we go like that. Just not anywhere close to an enough. So I think we actually have too much weight on it. So what if we instead... What if we uh, just pull it that area? Okay, you, you cannot do what I was hoping. Alright, well... So if you aren't sure what I'm now trying to do, I'm effectively trying to 
get myself into the hot air balloon. Because that's all we actually need. So I just need into it. But the game is not okay with me doing that. I'm just gonna keep wasting all of these of my pieces purely because I don't actually care. Alright. So if we do it this way. And we fly it like straight into that. Oh. <laughs> Helps if I don't just immediately run into other stuff. Because that does appear to get us high enough. At least currently. Oops. Right, you're not actually blocked now. Oh my god. I am wasting my time. I... Here I am, trying to be cheeky and just climb up the frickin' thing. I don't need to climb up it. I literally have the Sheikah, or the, the tablet thing that does the exact same thing as what I am trying to do. Ta-da! God, sometimes I can be so stupid. <laughs> Here I am trying to build a contraption to fly me all the way up. When instead all I gotta do is that. Oh boy. Leave it to me. Hey! What? What? Around here? Oh, okay, hmm. perfect. Uh higher up, probably. Oh, we got, uh, it's the Ark thing, the thing that the the Rito Village uh, uh, children were singing about when we went there previously. Oi! Oi, no. Indeed. It is indeed a boat, also known as an ark. Oh, here comes Zelda. Oh. Come to me. Okay. To the cloud we go. Was that a bigger boat? That's a bigger boat. Tons of flying boats as well. Hmm. A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skywards, the god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Yep. Oh. Huh. Yeah, cool. It's calling us, so shut the fuck up so we can go. Uh -huh. mm. And I'm guessing 
Yeah, we, we can't actually land anywhere else. Cool. I won't lie, that was not what I expected that to be. We ignore the fact that my brain just went, oh yeah, just click that more and... I, I clicked R again. You know, the button for dive rather than X to pull out the glider. Alright, let's go ahead and do this little trial. And then we'll uh, continue up the tornado, storm, whatever you want to call it after. Downward course. <laughs> What do you mean, downward force? Um... Well, I don't think I can actually do anything with this one yet. Because I don't know what it means by downward force. So I'm guessing that might be something that we uh, get to learn a bit later. Or we might not. I don't know. For now, though, uh, we're just going to go ahead and maybe figure out where we're supposed to go. Hey, there it is. Most of these ice-covered bits apparently have chests in them. As I continuously learned. I, uh, accidentally fell there. might be right under that. Hold on a minute. Is that under it enough at all? I think so. Okay, yeah. This... This one looks like it is. Right, please. It's not. Um. Well, in that case, this one definitely is. as a platform to tell you when you're good. Alright, now that we're back up here, we can actually do the jump without just absolutely failing at it. So we can actually get him to give us a gust of wind now beforehand because I'm actually paying attention to him. Or actually talking to him beforehand. don't get his item drops. Oh well, so be it. That's fine. Annoying, but we'll live. We'll 
just kind of cheekily do this a little bit. Because uh, we can. I won't lie, I didn't fully expect that to actually work. Oh, that's too high up, I guess. Oh, that's good. Could also use those two rocks to help us climb up. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Saves us a little bit of effort. All right. So it looks like uh, looks like we are headed this way. Stealing his weapon. Ooh, cool. Open up this chest. What do we get? Portable pots. Nice. Ooh, wait. Hold on. Just totally didn't fail. and having me go in here then. Isn't this just right up on top of where we... Oh, wait, nope, it was definitely needed. Alright, child, where... bird child, where are you? I literally need you right now. Like we want to head to that little bit there. Strong wind. Perfect. Oh, 
take the weapons in. Actually, it's long stick. I want that club. All right, we're good to move on to more though. Is that actually doing anything? I don't think that's actually doing anything. I ran out of stamina. Oops. At this rate, I definitely die at least like three times a video. So that's a thing. Oops. Oh well. Alright, where are we currently at? Oh. We have so much higher that we now have to retravel. <laughs> Thing, right? <laughs> right? Where are we? I do not remember being on this part. Oh, that's why I don't remember being on this part because I left it very quick. Quickly. Also, nothing on that, on top of that part. So, uh. Red Brain. Come a little bit closer so I can actually use your ability. Should just ignore the club this time because it's not really worth it. Accidentally mashed a little bit too much there. Actually, be smart this time. Build up my stamina again. Okay. 
So we did also open that up. There's still this. There we go. Got Thanks for charging right at me, baby. Arakuda Wing. Nice. And eyeball. It in that time. All right, what do we got? Arrows. I won't lie. Definitely doesn't feel worth it. Oh, oh, I got it. Might be a different way to have done that one, but uh, that's the way I did it. I keep forgetting X is the. X is glide, not R. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Now that we actually press the right button. this part is. Is that another dragon? Yeah. Oh, no. Looks just more hair. Who does? Oh, they're gonna attack each other. Perfect. <laughs> I won't argue having two of my enemies attacking each other. Eh, I keep missing anyways. I was just gonna knock him off. 
But so be it. Alright, I have some people on it. Oh! He was mine. You dared to steal the hero's kills. It's a bad idea. Um, and we don't actually have anything other than this one. So let's just go ahead, eat that one, and keep moving. Mostly so that we hopefully don't just die in one shot. I died to an explosion. I didn't die to a sword hit. That was an explosion. Wait. It probably was actually a sword hit, but then it looked like an explosion because of the one that I just killed. I fucking why why did they deal that much fucking damage like holy shit it is dealing like fucking five hearts of damage in a single hit which is fucking ridiculous Fucking, fucking, why? Why is the apparent fucking hitbox for a critical hit either their fucking entire goddamn head or just the fucking dot of their goddamn eye? That's fucking stupid. Because on the previous one, I fucking hit the side of its goddamn head. That one hit it square in the fucking face and just nothing. And apparently they're just throwing rocks. Fuck off, dude. Actually hit them. How about that, huh? You think about that one? Okay, no, I did die to a fucking explosion last time. Why the fuck do they have a goddamn explosive thing? Come on, dipshit, get back up. God, that was way too much effort. Okay, I literally fucking clicked R and it just dropped it. Why is R only drop it? That's Yay. 
What's in the chest? Something that I still don't know how useful it is. Okay, so now it actually wants me to build a thing. So therefore, we do exactly that. all the way up that it can. Leave it to me. Nope, 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 nope. Down. Perfect. All right. I think we'll go ahead and, uh, where it wants us to go next. this high air's pretty cold yep i literally have two bits of cold armor on i am perfectly fine and if i need a third i'll go get that after i go into this dungeon real quick or into the shrine shrine dungeon same difference to me at the end of the day i know that they are different but uh meh. They're very similar. Oh, this one is different. This is very different. Raru's Blessing? Oh! So it's different because these ones are just that much easier. Because they don't actually require you to do an internal challenge. Cool. Interesting. I like that. And yes, I am still just going to skip through it because it's going to say the exact same stuff. And if it doesn't, oops, oh well. I'm sure there's someone out there that isn't skipping them. It just ain't me. All right, here we go. <laughs> right, it is right here that we're going. At least I'm pretending it is. If we can make it, doesn't matter to me then. Yeah, we make it. 
In fact, some of these you probably actually don't even need him to boost you for. You just have to manage your stamina proper, properly. supposed to land on this ship. Blood Moon, please wait a moment. Let me land first, please, please, please let me land. Please let me land first. I, I don't care that the Blood Moon's gonna happen, I just wanna land first. Alright, perfect. Okay, go ahead and tell me the Blood Moon part that I'm just uh, not gonna care about. Cool, thanks. Bye! <laughs> oh. Because the, there aren't any enemies up here to fight. So far as I can tell. Alright, we want to land on this one. Also, it would appear that we are now good. So it is known as the Wind Temple. Legendary Stormwind Arc. Alright, is it gonna let me land safely or is it just gonna auto land me? Okay, it's gonna make me do it. Nope, it's gonna auto land me. That's annoying. I actually was gonna land up at a different area. Hey, look, it's Zelda. <gasps> Blast of cold wind? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, she was. She is an aloe. Trigger this, that sh sh do something. Not sure what. Ah, now we can teleport to and from here. Got it, got it. Useful. Okay, so we have to get all, all of the mechanisms to be turning. Okay. 
Brave Fletchling. I already know how to open it. We just have to get all of these turned There are still five locks oh, securing the hatch on the deck. Use your power to release all five locks. Man, it's, it's almost like I just should said open. that. Oh. Heed my okay. words. You know what? Fuck you. Yeah, and he literally just said exactly what I said, didn't he? Yup, exactly what I meant to. so that I don't lose my weapon. Oh, I literally could have waited a moment longer. Damn it. Soldier 2 spear? Interesting, and it does 15. Uh, we'll drop that and take it instead. Perfect. Strong does 11. Perfect. Alright, so the real question is, is how do we un enter... How do we enter that? This door was closed, so I don't know how to actually enter it. Uh... Oh, no, we can't climb up that. The ice there blocks us. This generate wind. Then 
how do you open the... Ah, yep, see, it's got a thing on this one, which allows for it to be turned. I see, I see. So then what we want, we take like this ice chunk. Attach it there. And now you can be turned. Ah, yes, perfect. Okay. Now my brain is functioning. Huh. Hey, look at that. I already know how to do it. So come here and fucking blow into this shit. I uh, used a bit of brain power. I didn't know that his thing was gonna fucking spit fire first. All right. Well, you know what? That's a good way to end this episode. Slightly longer than an hour, but yeah, not my problem. <laughs> Oh, good. It did save it right there. All right. So I'm going to call it quits for uh, this episode and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.